Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I would like to give you a short overview of our top 10 features coming in Loxon Config in the app in version 11. The new system schematic function block allows the graphical visualizations of systems, floor plans and more in the Loxon app. With this feature in Loxon Config, an image can be uploaded and you can then overlay any in config modules that offer a visualization option. This function is great for visualizing, for example, a complex heating system. The Daylight Harvesting Controller is especially useful in commercial spaces and offices, where there is often a need for constant light levels. This provides daylight dependent control of artificial light sources, with reference to any natural light already available, with the aim of maintaining a constant light level. With this new function block, Loxon partners can now implement daylight responsive lighting control with even greater ease. All you need is a brightness sensor that is well positioned in the room, then simply specify the desired minimum lux value and the desired adjustment rate. SIA DC09 is one of the world's most widely used digital communication protocol standards for transmitting information about a hazardous situation to a control sensor. For instance, a burglar alarm being triggered and the signal being sent to an alarm receiving center. Using the SEER DC09 function, the Loxon Mini server can now send a signal, including a predefined message, to a SEER server. This function does require the second generation Mini server. This function block is used to send a call for help in emergency situations. It not only offers new application possibilities in the field of ambient assisted living, but can also provide important assistance in many other critical situations. With this function block, you can quickly and easily implement an emergency button. If any button is pressed for a freely definable period of time, the system will send an automated emergency call. This call can then inform the receiver of the name or location of the trigger, as well as the name of the user. Thanks to the new user management features, you can now coordinate the members of a user group even more easily and quickly. You can use the new dialog box to manage the authorizations of individual users and user groups more intuitively. The new function also gives you more choice in customizing the visualization, authorizing access, as well as external and internal access to the mini server. The Remote Connect service is a new free service for the mini server generation two. Activated with a click in the mini-server's network settings, this service enables a secure connection between the mini-server and app or the mini-server and locks on config. You and your customers don't have to worry about port forwarding anymore. Plus, thanks to end-to-end -end encryption, the service is also highly secure. We have completely redesigned the visualization for audio zones. Some of the new features include a revised favorites and user options, a more simplified and streamlined layout, as well as a centralized search view. The intuitive interface is now clearer, more powerful, and more streamlined. Your customers can now control their home or building from their wrist. Quick actions that you set up on your iPhone are now automatically available in the Loxon app for Apple Watches using at least Watch OS 6. Directly from within Loxon Config or using expert mode in the Loxon app, it is now possible to add freely defined snippets of text for a function block. These snippets can then serve as fantastic helpful notes for your customers when called up in the Loxon app. With the five LEDs of the touch surface now being separate outputs, you can now freely assign them. You can continue to use the T5 inputs freely and now also choose what the LEDs indicate, such as the current volume level, or as a countdown timer. These are just some of the new features you can look forward to in Loxon version 11. This version will also include the ability to manually change values for outputs in live view, a redesign of the periphery window for a better overview, an improved offline documentation function within Loxon config, and many more. That's all for now though. Be sure to check out our blog and YouTube channels to stay up to date with the latest news from Loxon. Thanks for watching.